Hello and welcome to Plant 3D with the Experts. My name is Jason Drew. I'm a designated support specialist with Autodesk. And isometric drawing settings are all of the options for the ISO generation. For example, the symbols that are used, the 2D representation of the 3D objects in there. You can edit the ISO symbols here if you need to adjust uh, the look and feel of these. You can also adjust the reference dimensions as far as the um, enclosures and the annotations for those. ISO style setup allows you to create new ISO styles and edit the existing styles that come with uh, new projects. This is where you control the uh, options for the drawing formats, uh, the file naming, spool naming. If you're using, for example, a spool style drawing, you can adjust that here. Uh, the spool sizing and the uh, paths for the output drawings uh, that are generated. A note with a vault or collaboration project, these have to stay um, under the project folder. You can't uh, change the output directory there uh, with those type of projects. To so the ISO style defaults, these are um, setting options to be default as you run an ISO, so you don't have to set those every time. Um, you can also control over here some of the output uh, defaults if you're creating build material when you're generating the ISOs, uh, the data formats, and also some of the dimensioning if you want to turn those on and off. And the defaults for the congestion splitting are in here as well. So annotations, turns on and off, and controls uh, the symbology for leaders and the actual enclosures for that data. You can also adjust your um, connections and continuation annotations off here to the side. On dimensions, this is controlling how dimensions are placed within the drawings, the offset distances, um, where the sort of uh, anchor points are for these. For example, on certain types of welds, uh, you can adjust those here along with the text height. And down here at the bottom, you can adjust what is considered uh, small bore piping where that starts at. Uh, in the themes, this is going to be sort of uh, down into each uh, style. They have a, a theme below that. So, for example, the small bore that we looked at earlier, um, that would fall under a theme. Um, you have fitting to fitting, uh, vent and drain piping, things like that. These are all controlled based on the uh, parts that are filtered into a theme. And then you can turn dimensions on and off down here and also adjust how those are placed uh, into the drawing. Sloped and offset piping controls the uh, skew boxes and how these are shown in the drawing, the uh, hatching, the sloped piping annotation, and um, everything related to sloped and skewed pipe. Tidal block and display is going to be where you set up your uh, tidal block and drawing border. And you can set this up for the tables, uh, the draw area, and the north arrow and things like that within the tidal block setup. So the live preview allows you to take a look at one of your ISO styles and select a PCF, for example, from your project. And that way you can uh, view the setting adjustments that you've made without going in and out of project setup. So after it generates ISO preview, you'll see that coming to here and you can take a look at the changes, zoom in and out and make sure everything looks good. So the last section here in project setup is for the orthographic drawing settings. And if you go to title block and display, you can set up your uh, ISO title block and border here, similar to the isometric drawings. You can control the template file that's used for the orthos. You can turn on and off whether you show hidden line piping by default, and you can adjust the uh, representation of the elbow center lines, whether those are curved or cornered. Thank you for joining today's session. We hope you've learned a bit more about project setup with AutoCAD Plant 3D.